Hi guys, bored with usernames here after a long absence. Sorry about that. Gotta pay the rent, keep the roof over the head, you know how it goes. Survival tactics. This video is made in response to a question from Ninja Face Games. Big shout out, hi. Uh, asking me if I knew how to make the HDTP mod work on the Steam version of Deus Ex, which of course is the Game of the Year edition. This uh, is problematic because Steam installs Deus Ex in a very specific way on the Steam platform so when you download the HDTP mod you uh, can't actually run it directly to install the mod and um, you have to do it in a very specific way well this instructional video will walk you through how to do just that now please note I have used the Windows XP platform for this video tutorial uh, you uh, use the same method in the Windows 7 platform but you may have to deal with the infamous trusted installer problems that Microsoft have forced upon us. Um, at this moment I don't have uh, any spare time to make a Windows 7 video but please be patient. Uh, there is a Christmas break coming up so if I get a spare five minutes I will be making a Windows 7 specific uh, video. Um, however it will be 32-bit I do not own a 64-bit platform, so if you do have a 64-bit version of Windows, you'll find that the uh, directory names will probably be different um, for your particular version of Steam. Um, so you'll have to adapt the path names uh, in this particular video to suit whatever version of operating system you're using. Anyhow, without further ado, let's get to putting HTTP onto the Steam platform of Deus Ex. Okay, guys. This is board with usernames, and in response to a uh, ever popular request, I have finally got round to uh, getting the HDTP texture pack running on the Goaty edition, that is the Steam edition of Deus Ex. Thank you so much for being patient and waiting for me on this one. First of all, I'm going to run the game, as you can see here, inside of Steam. This is the standard install without the HTTP mod. This is the standard run, just so you can see what it looks like straight off the net. Heads up, JC. Now as you can see on the boxes, uh, that is the original texture that shipped with the game. There's little purple circles with white arrows, the unreadable red text. That are Those are the standard textures that ship with the game. Okay, that's Deus Ex running natively, straight after download and install off the net. Now as you can see from the textures, particularly on the wooden boxes there, that is not high definition by any means. Uh, now, it is quite simple, it's quite a simple thing to get the high definition texture pack running on the, uh, the Steam version Game of the Year edition. Uh, but the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download a little program called 7-Zip. Now 7-Zip is um, GNU licensed, it's open source, uh, it's free, and as you can see there it opens uh, the zip format, gzip, bzip, tar, it opens RAR, it's got its own proprietary format. Basically it is the free version of, or a free alternative, to the popular WinZip program. Now you're going to need something that will open archives. That's free. And you're going to need it because this is the original directory that Steam installs Deus Ex into. C program files Steam, Steam apps, common Deus Ex. Alright, now I'm going to refer to that as the Deus Ex root folder for simplicity. But that's the original. Um, folder that Deus Ex installs into and this is the download of the HTTP release 1. Now to clarify a minor point, this is release 1, it's never gone beyond release 1, it's not complete but it does have texture packs uh, for Gunther Herman, it has texture packs for the boxes, the crates, the barrels, various keypads, plants, chairs, it's, it's a work in progress, but it's not been updated for a long time. You can download it from the ModDB website, and it will come down as a single exe. Now, if you've installed 7-Zip, 
all you need to do is right click with the right mouse button on that release and 7-zip open archive. Now those are the files that are shipped with HDTP release 1. Okay, so this is the archive for the HDTP. This is the root folder that Steam has installed Deus Ex into. Now all you have to do is drag HDTP from the archive into the Deus Ex root folder just like that. You also need to uh, open the maps folder in the archive, open the maps folder in the uh, Deus Ex root folder and you need to drag out the demo map. There it is. And then you need to open the system folder in the archive and these files here you're going to need to copy into the Deus Ex system folder. And that's a simple case of drag. All right. So everything in the system folder into the Deus Ex system folder. The demo map goes in the maps folder. HDTP just copy out completely into the HDTP folder. You can now close the archive. Go into the HDTP folder in the Deus Ex root, go into the textures folder and there is a fo file in there called hdtpanim.utx you need to copy that All right, go the way back into the Deus Ex root folder go into the textures folder and paste hdtpanim.utx into the root Deus Ex textures folder You'd need to do that on the original vanilla version of Deus Ex because the installer does not do that for you. So we're not covering new ground. However, what we do now, go back into the HDTP folder that we've extracted on into the Deus Ex uh, root folder, open the system folder, and there is a file called Deus Ex.u. Copy that. Go back to the main Deus Ex system folder. There is already a Deus Ex.u file there. Rename it. I'm going to call it .orridge so I know that it is the original one that was shipped. And I'm going to replace it with the Deus Ex.u that I have just copied out of the HTTP system folder. Alright, now it's a bit confusing so I'll quickly go over it again. In the, the root folder of Deus Ex that Steam installs we have extracted an HDTP folder. Inside that folder there are two folders called System and Textures. Inside the Textures folder we have copied HDTP Anim into the main Deus Ex Textures folder and there it is. And then we've gone back into the HDTP folder that we've extracted into this into that system folder and we have copied Deus Ex.u back into the main Deus Ex system folder, which is the main one that shipped, and we've re we have replaced the one that was in that folder. Alright, and that is all there is to it. Alright, now there's just one thing left to do. In the system folder, go to user.ini, which is up there, scroll down until you find the line T equals and insert the word talk, T A L K. Alright, and then save that. What that will do, that will allow the console, the Deus Ex console, to be brought up uh, in the main game by pressing the T key. Alright which is how we get the demo map up. Now, let's see how she runs. Now at this point you need to hold down the T key to bring the console up on the bottom left and you need to type open then a space, then 00, zero then HDTP in uppercase, then an underscore, which is shift minus, then a capital D and the word demo, then dot DX. This will bring up the demo map.
Now the first thing you'll notice is there's no comparison between the old textures and the new textures and this is because of the way we've had to install the HDTP mod into the game. We don't have the option of running the HDTP mod separately when we have the Steam version so we've had to install the textures directly into the main directory and run them directly using the Steam executable. But as you can see they uh, HDTP textures have actually imported very successfully. And there's an actual odd one that does compare. As you can see there, the two uh, flaming dustbins are the same, trash cans are the same. But it has imported the modified textures. Those are the new barrels. Ah! Oops. Ship's wheels, the flag, fans. Gun turrets, brand new textures. Vending machines, that's all the new textures, dustbins, chairs, all the new textures, bottles, faucets, ATM machines, urinals, toilet. with flushing water. So as you can see, it all works quite successfully. So just as final proof, let's see what the main game runs like. Heads up JC, your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. As you can see, the boxes now have the uh, blue circles with the white triangles and they're quite clearly defined. The texture on the wood is actually coming from the HDTP texture mapping. Oh. This isn't a ch I get... What am I... <laughs> and again, the texture mapping on those boxes is quite clearly defined. So, uh, there you go. That is how to get the HDTP mod working on the Steam version of Deus Ex. So there you go, this has been Board with Usernames. This has been how to get the HDTP mod working with the Steam version of Deus Ex. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.